Welcome to the invertebrate collections of the Neon Biorepository. This is our primary workroom and pinned insect collection at the moment. And so what we do is we, uh, for the pinned insects, here's a box of pinned beetles that was shipped to us from a domain. And each of these we will separate out by species from that domain as we check them in. And each one of these are checked in based off of the catalog number, the sample ID on the yellow label underneath, and they're separated into an individual unit tray within this drawer. You can see that each unit tray has a single species in it. That's the check-in process. After that, we create labels. And so this is a drawer that was completely checked in and we created a header label. So what this header label is going to have is the species name. This is Passimachus elongatus. We also see this is in the subgenus Passimachus. We see that the author is Leconte, 1846. We also give a reference to what we are pulling that name from. In this case, this is the catalog by Bousquet from 2012. We also see that it's a neon specimen, that it was collected, these were collected in the year 2018 from domain 10. And so similarly, we can see we have several unit trays, these little cardboard boxes with foam of the same species. But then um, over here, we have a Terosticus species, an Amara species, Calathus, and down to Carabas. And so eventually, all of these need to go into the collection. So here we have a drawer of all anisodactylus. And so we can see these are now alphabetically in, um, sorted by both subgenus and species. So here's Anisodactylus agricola in the Anisodactylus subgenus. We see some more and we, we uh, transition into Gynandrotarsus for the uh, next subgenus. And these are all then alphabetically by species within that subgenus. And so then this is what the collection will look like on a larger scale. And we have these cabinetry here with these drawers that have the all carabids sorted by species and unit trays in drawers that belong to a certain tribe, and these tribes have genera and species within them. And the same thing is true for our pinned mosquito collection as well. To continue our tour of the Neon Biorepository Invertebrate Collections, we have to come to the Ethanol Compactor, the Arizona State University Bio Collections. This compactor is primarily full of jars of ethanol, of, of reptiles, amphibians, and fish. But if we come over here, we can find an aisle full of tubes collected from the pitfall traps of the Neon Biorepository. And so within this, we have alphabetical by site and plot um, all of the invertebrate bycatch from pitfalls. And so here we can see Bartlett Experimental Forest. We see the different plots, 2, 18, uh, 25, and so forth. And within these, each individual sample is chronological by collecting bout within a rack and by years, and then they move on to the racks behind it and snake over. This is repeated for all terrestrial sites where carabids are pitfall trapped for. This is just the invertebrate bycatch, um, which then continues on to the next row. And then we start the, the ethanol preserved carabids and uh, vertebrate bycatch. And finally, all of our collections are tied together through the Neon Biorepository data portal. And through this online portal, we manage everything from shipments that are sent to us and received. We can search for all of the pinned beetles that were sent to us. We can open up these manifests and this is how we check in these individual samples, such as this individual of Terosticus that we received from domain one. And we actually check that in. And so as we do this over time from all the shipments that come to us, we get occurrence records within our portal of these. And somebody can go on to our portal, anybody can search for say Passimachus elongatus. And we can search for all of the records from that and see that we have 1600 samples of Passimachus elongatus. We could also click and open this up in a map and we can see that we have this from a number of neon sites from North Dakota down to Oklahoma. And some of these sites, of course, we have hundreds of specimens from there and some we have less, say only three. And individually we can check these records um, and we can see 
that yes, this is Passimachus elongatus. This one's from domain 11. We can see the date it was collected. Um, we can also see the locality of where it was from. And all of these data are both searchable in our portal and we publish them out far and wide, including to GBIF, where all of these data are integrated and you can see all of the Carabid records here, the pinned Carabids, almost 27,000 of them from the United States um, that have already generated four citations within this.